all of your special Pokemon are belonging to me! Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Star Lord, and welcome back to another Pokemon Brick Bronze video. Today's video is just kind of a cool one, a discussion video, if you will, about the top 5 Pokemon uh, event Pokemon for Pokemon Brick Bronze. Now, when people think of event Pokemon, most of them think just shiny Pokemon, but no, there's actually some really good event Pokemon that have existed in the real games that could actually be in Pokemon Brick Bronze. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna give over my top five that I want to definitely be in Pokemon Brick Bronze. It would just be so awesome if we could get a hold of these awesome Pokemon. But before I get into the video, guys, I want to remind you that I am doing a 150 shiny giveaway as soon as I hit 150,000 subscribers. I'm 9,000 away, and if you're not yet subscribed, subscribe to the channel, turn on the little notification bell, and just wait for the video in which I will announce once I hit 150,000. Uh, but yeah, let's get into my top five Pokemon or event Pokemon for Pokemon Brick Bronze. Okay, starting off with Pokemon number one, we have Ash's Pikachu. Now, no, it isn't just a Pikachu that says Pika P or anything like that. It's actually a event Pokemon that existed in Pokemon Sun and Moon, which you could actually catch a Pikachu wearing Ash Ketchum's hat. He could also have different region hats too, uh, the ones that he wore in the different regions. And he just looks kind of cool. Now, Although some of you guys may think, well, that's a bit of a poopy Pokemon to have in an event. Uh, not really. I mean, we had the red-tailed Pikachu. That was pretty cool. I would prefer to see some kind of different Pokemon, like a pink Pikachu for Valentine's Day event. I don't know. That would have been a bit better. All you had to do is kind of change the colors. Uh, but this is definitely a possibility, as we've already had Ash Greninja. And I feel like this Pokemon should not be bought. I think it should be found in the wild, because... Not many people would pay 150 Robux for just a Pikachu because Pikachus, unfortunately, aren't really the strongest of Pokemon, if I'm honest. And yeah, not, like everybody would pay 150 Robux for an Ash Greninja, but not a Pikachu Greninja. A Pika... P <laughs> that makes no sense! What am I talking about? Okay, what I'm saying is I believe that it should be like a one-week event or a one-day event where you can pa catch Pikachu in the wild. And it's got a chance to wear Ash Ketchum's hat from the anime, from the first series, you know, all that kind of stuff. I think it would be just pretty cool. And, uh, yeah... I really think that they are going to do this eventually as there has been a little sprite found in the game files of Pikachu wearing a hat. So for those of you who think that this idea would be pretty cool for an event for Pokemon, uh, I think it's good to get your hopes up because really I think it will happen eventually somewhere down the line. Uh, but let's move on to Pokemon number two. So yet again we have another Pikachu but except this Pikachu was actually in I think Pokemon Colosseum. Now what originally it was is there was a Pikachu that was on a surfboard and he actually could use the move Surf. Right? Now, in Pokemon Colosseum, what you were able to do is actually transfer your Pokemon from Colosseum to Pokemon Yellow, Red, Blue. And that was pretty cool. And a lot of people were able to get this Pikachu that could use Surf. And you could Surf on him. It was pretty cool. Now, what I think would be really cool is with the new update coming out, of course we're going to get HM Surf. What if? We could get a special Pikachu, nothing different about the, you know, the look of it or anything, but it could actually use the move Surf. How cool would that be to have that, your, like, your first Pokemon uh, would be Pikachu who could Surf. Either that, I would like either Alolan Raichu or Surfing Pikachu. I, I just think they'd be pretty cool. And I think that if he didn't add it, if the developers didn't add it to the game, it'd be a very silly mistake because I think that it's kind of a throwback for loads of people who used to play the original games. And I always used to want to get my hands on a surfing Pikachu. It was just absolutely cool. But uh, yeah, there we have it, guys. A surfing Pikachu. Uh, moving on to Pokemon number three. We have yet another evolution of the Pikachu family. And is uh, pointy, pointy, pointy ear Pichu? Oh, thank you for subscribing. But pointy ear Pichu. <laughs> That's a bit hard to say. Pointy ear Pichu. 
pointy ear Pichu. Uh, but yeah, uh, you can see him on screen right now, and to be honest, there's nothing really amazing about this Pokemon. Uh, all he has is a little pointy kind of ear, instead of just a sphere shape, it's kind of pointed at the top. And I'm guessing that this Pokemon was actually very special in the anime, I believe I found a couple of pictures of him uh, with the original Pikachu and a normal Pichu. And I just think this would be a kind of cool Pokemon to use as an event Pokemon. I, I don't know. I think it'd be pretty cool. Uh, nothing much to say about it, really. I think it was available in Pokemon... Uh, let's see. Maybe Hard Gold? Maybe? And Soul Silver? I think. But don't quote me on that, guys. But still, a lot of people love Pichu. And not many people actually have Pichus that I meet in Pokemon uh, Brick Bronze. Like, not many people have a Pichu. I just think it'd be kind of cool to throw in one of these little event Pokemon. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Um, moving on to Pokemon number four. So, with the big, huge tree that is like, kind of appeared in Pokemon Brick Bronze. You know that big, huge white one? And it has no flowers now. It's basically the Exerna's tree. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, but if any of you guys have actually played Pokemon Sun and Moon, uh, or X and Y, sorry. X and Y. Don't, please. Calm down. If anybody has actually played X and Y, you will know that AZ has his own kind of special floret. Now, this floret actually resembles the Pokemon's X and Y, and uh, here it is on screen right now. You can see it has the little flower, and it's kind of looking like the Pokemon uh, Y, and its body looks like Pokemon X. Now, I think that'd be pretty cool to throw this in just before we get those legendary Pokemon as some kind of event Pokemon, or just even to spawn naturally in the game. I think it'd be pretty cool. Now, in Pokemon X and Y, I do believe that they actually uh, had an event Pokemon of this. This was an event Pokemon at one time and you could actually catch it uh, for a certain amount of time like maybe a week or two or a month I don't know but yeah this Pokemon sprite does exist it is able to be put into the game and I just think it'd be kind of cool if it actually was to go with all of our other florets you know it'd be yeah it'd be pretty cool uh, moving on to Pokemon number five the last Pokemon in my wish list and that is Shadow Ho-Ho now actually Shadow Ho-Ho doesn't really exist in the Pokemon universe, it's only Shadow Lugia. Now, I love Lugia more than Ho-Ho, but I do understand that the majority of the Pokemon fan base really, really wants a Shady, uh, Shady, Shady, a Shady, a Shadow Ho-Ho. And I think that would be kind of cool if he did throw it in as a Pokemon you could capture because I know there is one or two people who already have this Pokemon in Pokemon Brick Bronze. So it is possible that, you know, everybody could have it. Whether or not it's going to stay as a special type of Pokemon for special people, we don't know. But I know that it'd be pretty cool if this Pokemon was added. Like I said, it wasn't actually existent in any of the other games. I believe that modders actually created it and made the sprite for it. But uh, yeah, uh, only Shadow Lugia was actually real in uh, the uh, Something of Darkness. I forget what it's called. I never got to play that game, but I remember seeing it on the like the cards, and I was like, "Wow, that Lugia is a pretty awesome Lugia. I want that Lugia. That Lugia is gonna be mine." And I never end up getting the Lugia. So. Yeah, that's just the way the story goes, I guess, guys. I don't know. Sometimes life lets you down like that. Um, but anyway, guys, that has pretty much been it for this today's quick video. I guess I kind of just wanted to give you my thoughts on what Pokemon I would like to see as an event Pokemon in Pokemon Brick Bronze. If you do have any other kind of Pokemon that you would like to see, then please comment down below. I would love to hear about them. And if you disagree with anything that I said, feel free to disagree too, guys. It's up to you. Uh, but anyway, guys, have an awesome day. And until next time, I've been Star-Lord. Oh, see ya.